I have completely stopped using environment variables and in the files. If I go ahead and empty out this whole environment file, in fact, if I remove this environment file completely from my React.js project, even though I am using process.env for API keys and many other things, if I restart my Next.js server right here, and if I look at the project and refresh my browser, my local host, in fact, the app still fully works. I've got all my boards. I can go into and error all the boards. I can pretty much use the whole project. Everything works, log in, log out. So Nas, how the heck does this work? How is it that you have removed the environment file, you're using process.inv and everything still works? That's because we have found a different tool. We were sick of creating environment variables. We were sick of sharing them with developers, hoping they would go would not go into the wrong hands. We were sick of updating environment variables across the whole team. Because if you update, you have to let everybody know that you updated the environment variables. We were sick of managing all of that. And it was such a nasty experience. So we found this tool that changed everything. It completely removed the necessity for you to keep track of these environment, vari variable, environment variables. It completely removed the need for you to remember to add them. It removed the need for you to keep them updated across the whole development team. And it even removed the need for developers to see them. So I want to show you this tool because I think it can really help you. The piece of software I'm about to show you is not sponsored. This is just an application that we love to use. Kazi actually found this and that we've used on our team to build Poppy AI. It just has helped us so much and it's so simple to use as well. And so let me show you what it is. So it's called in physical. It's an open source secret management and it's all one platform to secure and manage applications, blah, 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 right? Again, very, very simple to understand in terms of what it actually does. What it does really well is just being able to save all of your keys, your client secrets, and sync them up between different environments and sync them up between different developers. So if you add a new environment key, then it will get synced up across all developers. Like how sick is that? And so I'm making this video because I just genuinely want to help developers out there on the fact that there are better ways of doing this instead of creating your .env files and doing it that way. Um, now, granted, your .env files might still be good if you're just one person doing this, but if you have a development team, then there's no reason for you to do this, to, to actually create those .env files. So, like, it's so easy. If you look at this, if I zoom in here, oh, let me see here. Let me, if I zoom in, like, look at this. You just do a physical run, .env.dev, and, like, and then do npm.run dev, and it will insert all the keys directly for you. And it's as simple as that. We have it so simply done. I think, let me go ahead and actually sign up for our, let me go ahead and sign in into our application. We have our Poppy AI one here. And we have all these different keys that we get to use, as you can see. And you can actually click into it and you'll be able to see the keys right here. You can edit the keys, um, change them which environment they are part of, and then go from there. And then sync them up as well with like Vercel. Um, I believe they also have a bunch of integrations like AWS, um, Azure, Bitbucket, Circle CI, uh, Checkly, Git. I mean GitHub, Heroku, uh, GitLab, Netlify. So so many different frameworks that they have are working with. And with Vercel, it's also super super easy. Like you see, there's Vercel right here, right? With Vercel, it's super, super easy. Uh, hopefully, I can show you guys how Vercel even works. Settings, maybe integrations. Here, right? So we've got the physical integrate into there. And this will literally sync all of the keys automatically. So if we add a key to physical, it will be added directly into here. Of course, you have to restart then probably the project, but it'll be fully added into here, which is so cool. 
And then let me show you how this works on the actual application side of things. So I have this thing where we use open API key. We even use Gemini keys here, correct? And so let me go ahead and stop running the application here. Control C, boom, boom. I do npm run dev and the npm run dev, as you can see, if we make this a little bit larger, what it does is that it does in physical run next dev, which inserts the keys into the environment, all of them. And then I see uh, inf injecting 16 in physical secrets into your application process. And that's it. And like, you don't have to worry about creating any environment variables, none of that. It just inserts it for you. How sick is that? I'm just blown away by how good this application is. Kazi, I give this credit to Kazi because he's the one who found this. Um, but <laughs> just not having to share this with other developers. And then if you add new keys, then you, do, you don't have to share that with other developers. It just get, automatically gets synced throughout everybody. We finally have a fucking solution. And I don't know why it took so long, so long to actually make it happen. But yeah. So yeah, for new developers who are just starting out, then yeah, create environment variable keys. You know, you don't have to use in physical, for example. But for people who are have a development team, they're working on the project, and there's a few developers on the project, then definitely use it use in physical. Um, again, not sponsored in any shape or form. <laughs> I wish we were. <laughs> I just think they're a great product and I want you guys to use it. I want you guys to make it easier for yourselves. Hence why I'm making this video. And of course, this video is sponsored, however, by us, which is by our product called Poppy AI. So we have been building a product that using a physical. The product called Poppy AI, we're pretty much what we're building is is a whiteboard on steroids is what we call this. It's a way to help other people learn, create 10 times faster with AI, right? So that's the goal. It's like the biggest thing is that we have our customers using this is talking to YouTube videos. So like imagine you could bring a bunch of YouTube videos from different sources and then you can simply talk to them and ask questions and get deep insights within seconds. You don't have to watch a bunch of podcasts. You don't have to watch the video 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You get instant answers. And then from there, you can actually create insights. And then from there, you can create so much for more in terms of emails, newsletters, you name it. But the biggest thing is just being able to learn 10 times faster. So like for example, for example, like here, as you can see, I've used it for so many different things. For example, we're currently outreaching to a bunch of influencers on promoting Poppy AI. And so first, I got a way, got a way to learn how to use, um, how to reach out to influencers. I took videos from Alex Ramosi, from, oh, this is another, another person. They had a ton of views. Took them in, started to ask a bunch of questions about how to apply that to our videos or sorry, to our uh, product, and then boom, and then I saved that on here, which is like, hey, it told me create a list of 100 influencers in this my specific niche, send personalized messages, etc. but I can go much more deeper than just this, right? Then I took screenshots, which is so cool. I took screenshots of all the influencers that I have been looking and finding, and the cool thing is these screenshots have links to these influencers, right? Because it's their YouTube screenshots, and then what I can do is so sick, I can connect them, and then I can ask very deep questions around like this. Let me zoom in here. Boop, boop. For example, like, give me all the YouTube channels, right? Give me a nice bullet point list of, of the name. So give me, give me, me all the influencers, influencers from, um, give me all the influence, give me all the influencers with links and subscriber count and their industry. Boom. There it is. And these links go directly to the YouTube channel, which is so cool. So I don't have to save these guys anywhere on Google Sheets at any point in time. They're all just right here. And that can be like, hey, create outreach messages for the uh, to the first two first two uh, people 
around to ask to see if we can collab together on promoting Poppy AI. Now, of course, you can probably get a lot smarter with the message, right? This is just an example. There it is. Boom, right? Hi, Andrew, blah, blah, blah. We're talking about Pop-Pop. Like, sick, right? Amazing. And, and then make sure, sure to mention their YouTube channel and even a YouTube video video that we liked and how their channel can help um, falls falls in line with promoting Poppy AI. Boom. And so the cool thing is it even knows the videos too. Following YouTube channel, blah, blah. And I'm currently impressed with your content, especially the video PhDs. Like you see, like it knows the content. Like how sick is that? So same thing here. Use it to write perfect essays. Like <laughs> this is awesome. I love this tool. Oh my God. I get to use this every fucking day. Um, this is just an example. But yeah, just a few examples of how we use our own tool, which is funny. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, we, this, is, this is just for testing we had. But I also use this, for example, like, right? Use this, for example, to get key insights um, from a YouTube video, from a website that I wanted to learn from. And then here, for example, I was talking about the number one rule um, for copywriting. And I wanted to create an email, right? And then I use this and I added my voice. And as a result, I was able to create an email just like this based on the copyright and rules of Alex Ramosi. Insane. So, but then, that, but then you, can go, you can go even further because like, you know, I use this a lot for, for example, for learning. Like when I was figuring out my diet, I imported a bunch of people's YouTube videos about diet. And then I had, and then I imported my body scan, body, my DEXA scan. And then I asked, hey, you know, here's how I was feeling the past few days. And I said, I've been dieting for the past five months. I lost 10 pounds and I have a crazy diet fatigue. I want to eat constantly. Based on that info from Dr. Mike, for example, let me go ahead and make this. Do not disturb so we don't see this. There we go. It told me exactly what to do. Based on Dr. Mike's advice, your current situation, you might, might benefit for, from a diet reset. Here's a brief outline of the next steps, etc. So this is what we have been working on. And physical was a way of actually showing that. Um, if you're interested right now, we have a very cool offer down below um, with a three-day trial. So go ahead and check it out. Um, the price will go up as well. And yeah, we're just excited for you to try it out. Give us feedback. We're constantly getting feedback from customers. We're constantly improving this. We just started this and we're super excited on how we can make this even better. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you actually took a lot from it, especially even in the environment variables part, because I personally just like, I hate all of that. Um, and so in physical has helped me a lot. Again, not sponsored in any shape or form. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye.